Tim has left. Tim has left the building. Where did Tim go? No, he he stopped playing. Oh. He entered into the elven nope. forest. He logged back in. Ah, close. He was in Stormwind. <sighs> He's in Stormwind. Not anymore, though. And then he teleported outside of Stormwind to one of the many places within Azeroth. Heal my soul. What? <laughs> <laughs> no. No, Aww. I'm not. Because okay. vitality Play. is of the body. No! I'm looking for something of mind, soul, divinity. <laughs> Divine interventions could also do such a thing. But we'll leave Is he trying to get his day. levels back? <laughs> More or less. <laughs> My levels. Called consequences, sir. Alrighty. So oh, no, the swords are awesome. Your wonderful rest. Everyone should be up to level seven. As a matter of fact, as you guys were finishing up your rest, a black portal from below and emerges X. Oh no. Elders Blast. I... Oh. For real? <laughs> no, imagine if he did though. That'd be crazy. Oh, it's our stalker. Hey. I don't see shit. I have to turn on the stream. Oh, Where I do I see it? He he was just adding commentary. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Reading was. the story. So after you guys have defeated the wonderful encounter of Quelag, turns out it was just merely a game wonderful. from your wonderful devil stalker who seems to have given you means to play more games later. Hell yeah. However, with each of his games becomes increasingly more difficult, but the rewards become better. The After the fight, you that all was a sat scale down. increase like crazy. After the fight, you've all taken a very long rest, and you are able to make your journey. You're able to see Fort Knucklebone, a hill-like fist in the distance. Lavina was beckoning that there would be machines to help you cross Avernus and a way to find the scab, the large white temple that houses a sword, a sword that multiple people think would be the key to saving Eltoril. Do you guys begin your journey? Yep. Yeah. Yep, that was the plan. All right. All right. So All right, I need Dio. two You're things. You're now the mightiest lead. I need two things. One, who plans to navigate the wasteland? I figured the key would lead, or at least help Whoever was leading the party. Oh, survival is my specialty. Oh god damn it. Okay. How about but not really. Intimidation is mine. <laughs> Dio's specialty is meat shield frontline. I'm not even a meat shield. <laughs> <laughs> not even my glass, glass cannon. Cannon. meat shields <laughs> do not have to be strong. Are you a cannon? I'm pretty sure you're just glass. No, I, for once a day, I can do 10d8 fire damage. Once a day. So he's a glass cannon. Okay. Once a day. Oh my god. All right. Um. Well, first of all, I'll hop on my broom. And then I guess <clears throat> if little man wants to hop on the broom with me. Sure. Sure. Oh, I'm, <laughs> I'm I think I'm littler. <laughs> yeah. Littler. Talking about the shrimp, but sure. <laughs> I just love, like, volunteering yourself as the shortest. All right. All right. So for the person navigating, I need a survival or an investigation. Ooh, oh, me. Oh, that me. is my specialty. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Roll it away because you're uh, uh, leading us, I guess. Oh, oh, oh. With a 25, you're able to stay on course. Now I need someone, other than the person who rolled, to roll me a d20. Do it. Oh, 
Heck yeah, a one. Oh, <laughs> fantastic. I need someone else between the two who have not rolled to roll me a 1d6. All right, I got it. <laughs> okay, this one no. better be a, no, yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. a one. All right, I will start loading up that map. No. God damn it. <laughs> I feel like this is going to be Demon rough. Zapper. Yes, this will come up in a bit. Don't worry. <laughs> Monument to Tiamat. Don't start at the map. Old Rock's grave. We should spawn go there. injuries. What do they spawn? Oh. <clears throat> you guys Tatar. make your way forward, and you are greeted by a patrol of Murrigans and Hellhounds. Anya. With you on the broom and ahead of the party, you were able to notice them before everyone else. I'll give a little bit. Do they notice us? Though. Does it appear like they actually see us? They're out? about a hundred or so feet out, and they seem to have knowledge of your location, but they're not heading for it directly. Okay, we're gonna double back and relay that to the party. It's the damn sword. You fool. <laughs> That's nothing to, you. to do with the sword. Throw him to him. No. Um. So what's mm -hmm. the uh, play here? I say... We sneak. Oh, Heck. Yeah, how open are, is this field? We need to, okay, Very but we do need to keep open. the It is safe. large, flat waste. So anyways... The ground is cracked in blasting. places... But you do see an occasional ruin or rock or tree, you assume is a tree, piles of bones. And those were dogs, right? Those so are anyways, what they dogs. appear to be. I started blasting. Okay. I'm sorry, you're what? Excuse me? All right, we're not going to sneak. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> I was just playing. <laughs> no, you said it. I will now. Nah, full commit. She'll right. touch. Commit What's to the, the bitch. 120 feet. You said it was 100, right? Yep. Yep. You're good. 19. Mm -hmm. I'm hitting the closest shithead. <laughs> that would be a hellhound. Ooh. Holy shit. 15. Ooh, a very, very good hit. Well, they're alerted to your presence now. I need everyone to uh, roll for initiative. Hell yeah. Good plan, everyone. Danny DeVito. Never led me wrong. I always just... I'm always first. So I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna say it. I'm always first. What's your initiative? Is my initiative oh, rolling? Six. Oh, it did the first time, but it did that time. Okay. Oh, no, it rolled the first time. Cancel out that 17. I got a 13. It didn't even pop up. <laughs> my initiative lagged until I rolled it again, and then it popped in the first one piece of shit <laughs> the six dice is catching up what is with those dogs what are you talking it, about i dare you what are, are what are those other three things what do they look like they that are, with are the dogs? about as tall as stun wearing plate oh. armors and have golden masks each one of them carries a large halberd <clears throat> Ooh. They appear to be the ones commanding the hell dogs. Even cooler. I could kill them all in one go. <laughs> yeah, no, like let me, let, me, um, let me do this. I think this will be better for you guys. He says that. There you are. Oh. Weird. Ugly. Wow. It's really fucked up. It's got quite the hunch. That it does. That it does. All you can right. see a chiropractor for it. So, doggies, Americans. Eh, one of them got a one. I got a two. <laughs> <laughs> what level are you right now, Richard? Uh, seven. Did you pick out like your spells and stuff? Um, I don't think so. 
He has not. I'm going to have to catch up with Richard because he hasn't been around for a long time. So i kind of been filling yeah. things out for him, and then we could change things as we go. Okay. All right. That sounds good. Welcome Alrighty. back. Above 20. Me? No, was I 23? Yep. All right. Uh, 20 to 15. Uh, 17. Do we, like, 10? get a, a surprise 13. round or something? Or is that the only action that could have happened on it? the only action because they were oh semi-aware of your damn presence. God damn we could have, you know, just gone completely uh, dead. 10 to 5. Oh, whoops. So I two people just did. didn't even say, yeah, I, I was 13. 11. 12. Uh, Dio, what's your dex? Uh, my dex is 15 plus 2. Okay. So the dog beats you. No! <laughs> and then... If I match with a dog, rip. Because it's definitely going to beat me. Uh, I didn't get a roll for 10. <clears throat> 5 and below? He was 7. He was 7? Thank you. He's just not talking, apparently. No, he said 7. We were just in the middle of... Uh, the clusterfuck. Oh, I haven't heard him this whole time. Same. Silent Tim. She's Max too, so I have no idea. Did you guys lose a lot of Overwatch, Clayton? All no. Right. Five and four. You guys played Overwatch without me? That's fucked I didn't up. Know what you were doing? You never asked. Dickhead. Vala, you this get to true. go first. All right. Uh, how far away are they? From you, the closest dog is seventy feet. Okay. Um, how close is that pillar? Is that a pillar? How high that is that? That is to a the left? fallen wall. That no. one? No, to the left. This? Yeah. That is a few rocks positioned. They are about uh, three feet or so off the ground. Not floating, but tall. All right. Um... I Okay, I'm going to move 10 feet closer. Uh, am I within 60 feet of the one that got damaged? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> I will toll the dead. 16 was... That will be a fail. Seven. Very good, very good. Necrotic. Very good. I think it's necrotic. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right. Then we get dog one. It's going to howl. <laughs> and dash. I'll also go back. Oh, wow. Holy frack, holy. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'll move back with the rest of my move. That's good. That's hilarious. <laughs> Welcome back, Joe. Titus, it is your turn. Ah, I'm going to summon my war horse. As you good place conjure your war horse, you notice that it is not coming through with a radiant aura, but instead a fiery one. A blackened steed comes out from the summon. It is encased with flame. Fucking sick. Can I... Oh. For all like... intents and purposes, look up the nightmare stat block, but you do not have the plane's teleport. I feel like that wouldn't be good for you, considering your uh, holiness. He follows a god of war. As long as he's charging into battle, he's happy. Oh, fair, I guess. Oh, fuck yeah. Okay. This is what's happening besides the... Whatever you said? You're able to use everything but the ethereal stride. I don't even... Oh, okay. 
Is that what the knights were writing? It is. Okay. Uh, okay. He just said, I, I'm summoning your horses. He could fly? That's so busted. This is like, cool. It has so much HP, too. This if is... anyone rolls me a high enough history, I could give you a little insight about it. My specialty. All right, that one wasn't great. I got a 16. All right, with a 16, you know that all, as well as for X, with a 16, you know that all Narzugons are paladins who have accepted hell. <clears throat> this could be me. Uh, Wait, like they turn into a me. horse? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, that is their steed of their choice. The Narzugon, oh. the knight on top of those steeds, are paladins who have accepted happiness. Ah. I want to accept hell. Oh. What the hell? He's trying Bad. to turn to the dark side. Shit, if it's for this horse. It's like someone's trying to coax I'll you into getting it. I'll do it. Don't tempt me. All right. So. Plenty of temptations in hell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is hell. Um. I what you. Do you wish to do? I I I'm just reading the actions. I'm gonna charge in, I guess. The one that's closest or are you going for the ones far away? Um Yeah, I'll fly. If that's 90 feet, how how far away is that? They're that... about 70 to 100 feet away from you. That that next closest one? That one is like 60, uh, 80. 80? Yep. Yep, I'm flying to it. Wild move. And then I'm going to use hooves. All right, roll the hit. Just roll a d20 and then add the modifier. Cool. Well, it's a seven. <laughs> Due to you not really understanding how to control this beast well, it makes it all the way across as you intended to, but it refuses to make the attack. Hmm. I've accepted you. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'm going to swing. <clears throat> Wasn't summoning it your action? Oh, that possible? Yeah. That, that depressing. No, I you're like... just in there. I'm gonna smile and wait. <laughs> That'll be my turn, I guess. Okay. Very well. After Titus is a dog number two. Oh. Shaggy? No. Ash is for you. After that, Murrigan won. He's going to make a strike against you, Titus. Okay. He's going to hit you with the blade of the halberd and then the butt of the halberd. Interesting. Taking a so swing close. at the top. It's going to miss you completely, but the butt of the halberd is a 27. That does hit. So that's going to be a 1d8 plus 4. So is that to me or the horse? That is, to you, seven bludgeoning damage. Oh, okay. Cool. All right. After that will be Lavina. Lavina will not abandon everyone here. And go to charge. Oh, hmm. I guess she'll split Tiny one man. and one with radiant bursts. She will hit both of them, actually, so that's good. 
I roll for damage now. You see that Radiant is very effective against the beasts that are here. Hmm. I wonder why. <laughs> I wonder why, he says. Okay. Last two, and then she's going to back up a little bit. Afterwards, it is then Zen's turn. I am going to use a Ray of Frost on the dog trying to attack Vala. Alright, try to hit. Not 20, bro. All right. Destroy. 17 frost damage. All right. Uh, let me see the rolls first. There we go. So your 6 becomes an 8. Your 4 becomes an 8. So that is a plus 6 on top of that. So 23. Very good. 23 is enough to kill that one. No, wait. That's number 2. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I didn't. I'm fighting a different one now. <laughs> That's a different one. 23. I was like, squirrel, you blast it! And hit it in the face. You see the frost starts to encase the front. And his fiery breath slowly melts what's there. Seems angry. Hey, I mean, he came at us. Right. Well, somebody hit the, the, through the first shot. I'm just saying. They were, they were going to come after us anyways. <laughs> you don't know that? Dio, it is your turn now. I'm gonna bonk it. Um. <clears throat> so, in the description here, it says it has a plus three bonus to attack and damage rolls made with it this magic weapon. It should already be calculated within. It's not. Do you still do you, you have, have a negative strength? strength you probably have negative strength. Oh. And you're not. Prepared. You're using it at disadvantage. <laughs> yeah. You don't have the no. strength. No, you're not. He's not rolling with disadvantage. The calculation of your attack roll with the weapon is based on your mm -hmm. strength modifier. So the weapon uh, itself is giving you a plus three. You add your proficiency for it for a plus oh, five. Oh, he's fighter class. And then you are a strength of a minus one for a four plus. I see. Okay. So All right, we're gonna... if this was a mundane weapon, <clears throat> you'd ultimately have only a plus one. Ah. Uh. We're going to bonk it. Now, if your strength became 18, then that would, you know, have a plus 4, so you'd be a plus 8 to hit. But anyway. He's got to get there first and survive. And 18 hits! Alright, you do 8, eight slashing. Damage. You notice after you strike this beast, the flame that follows your blade behind seems to heal the wound. Ah, damn. What? <laughs> I didn't use the magic part. It's always with it. What? It's but always it's not being it. calculated. It's always on it. You have to roll it separately because of the way that they structure things in D&D &D Beyond. <sighs> So, so you have okay. to roll 3d6. They want to use the magic because I knew they were fire dogs. Because an attack that hits adds 3d6 fire damage to the attack. You have no control over this. So please roll a 3d6 when you can. I did. Okay. Did. Fantastic. All right. So you did 8 okay. damage, but healed it for 14. I hate this game <laughs> so much. You didn't think it was a good idea. Oh, that's not a good idea to have a slamming sword. Too, and you've only got 23 hit points. <laughs> <sighs> okay, well, then I'm going to end my turn. You're not going to back away? I can't. It'll attack me anyway. That's very true. Oh, oh that's right. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez, Dio. Might as well just face take the thing, or I'll take two attacks. You know we can't always save you. All right, Anya, it be your turn. Yeah, gonna go after the doggo right in front of us or beside us. Right. Ooh, actually, can I position myself first so it's an advantage? He is pretty wounded too. You can. Yeah. Hells yeah. 
Punchy punch. That is number two. Twenty-six. 20, we're gonna... yeah. Damn. We're, we're gonna <laughs> that, roll that the dog. attack damage for that first. Yep. Go for it. Uh, ten. Uh, that's gonna add a plus two because your first one gets replaced to a six. So that's going to be twelve. Forty. Is just it... enough. Ew. How do you feel this one? Oh my god. I'm I am fuming. I'm so rage filled right now because we launched into attack. Didn't know that we were even if we were the bad guys in the situation. Um, so you see me react fast, jump off the broom, and go behind the the wolf, the dog, whatever the hell it was. Yeah. And I'm going to I guess smack it in the ass. Well, with it, it was just it enough. Fine. After you kill the beast, you see that it disintegrates, changing into ashes, but leaves behind a blackened pool that bubbles. Oh, no. Oh. Touch it. Don't touch it. We have self-control, unlike you. Eat it. <laughs> yeah, unlike you. I'm going to skirt around it, look at little man and say, don't touch it. And I'm going to go after that guy with my remaining punchy punch, as long as that's okay with you. Yeah, of course. You get two punches. Technically three if you use your bonus. Oh. Well, She's kind of flanking with stun. Oh, stun shit. has ridiculous stun. arms. Fine. It was supposed to be with advantage, but you know. No, no, I'll take the natural one. It's fine. I botched it. I'll own it. All right. Uh, give me an acrobatics. Okay. <clears throat> it's a save, right? Yes. Or yeah. a skill. Oh, I'm so sorry. No, it's fine. Well, anyway. I did a save. A 14 is enough for you not to trip over the uneven ground in front of you. Yeah, damn. Excellent. Okay, then we're going to spend a uh, key point to try this again. Is that okay? Yeah. Oh my shit, an A! The first one was a flub. <laughs> Second one's a 17. As you're trying to catch yourself, you try to swing while falling and miss, but then you go and able to hit the wolf on the side, which prevents you from falling completely. Oh, well, that's good. That's great. <laughs> Hoping to hit something here. It's an eight. Eight. All right. All right. Anything else you wish to do on your turn? Um, God. No. No, because if I stay here, I'll at least give them advantage when they hit. <laughs> Can we make that a sound bit? Be your turn. Hi. Hello. Holy Hi. shit. The first words. I take a swing. A swing. Hi, ya. Hi, ya. The hit 19. A 19 will hit the dog. Good hit. Swing again. again. Ooh, 11? 11 will not hit. It will be able okay. to duck out of the way of your second stab. Is there anything else you wish to do? Nope. Very well. All right. After stun is Doggo 4. He's going to go right after the steed in front of him. Bum, ba -dum, bum. Dun, da -da. Oh. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> yeah, so that's going to be... 8 plus 4, 12 plus 3, 15 piercing, plus... Okay. 12, 14 fire. So, 
Well, how so much 14 total? piercing and then 14 fire. All right, lads. Does your as fire long as beast... don't crit, I'll live. <laughs> Does your fire horse have like anything for fire? It should have fire resistance, uh, I think. Yeah, it's fire. It's it, immune to fire. Immune no, to fire. fire immunity. Mm. Then just negate all that damage for fire, but take the piercing. It, it so understands 14, common and 14, infernal, yes. but can't speak. Okay. And there you are. Hmm. All right, X, it'd be your turn. Uh, can I cast my invisibility invisibility on Dio so he disappears? Of course you can. Oh, I love this guy. <laughs> he doesn't do know you like we do. Dio, you vanish. <laughs> Dio's been killed. He has betrayed us. I decide to Eldritch Blast the closest wolfy thing. Uh, invisibility is an action. It is, is it? one okay. action, so you do have a bonus action. What do you have for bonus actions? Uh, you don't really have anything there. Yeah, so I just end my turn. Okay, very well. After that is the other Muragun. He's going to move 30 feet. And then he's going to look at the little gnome with the oh big no. yellow hat. And he's going to launch a crossbow bolt twice at him. Yeah. Tunk, tunk. That'll be a 15 on the first one and a 20 on the second. Uh... Which is sad. Shield That's is five. five. If you're looking at it, so block yeah. the first one, but not the second. Um. Yeah, sure. I'll block it. I'll block the first one. All right. So you'll just take the second. So that'll be plus two. So six. Six piercing. You raise your arcane barrier to block the first one, but you weren't fast enough to block the second. It pierces your arm. Owie, is what he would say in this scenario. Uh. All right. Um, an adventure with you. Then I took an arrow in the arm. Uh, am I within, like, five feet of that other one? That one? That's right next to me, yeah. I can't really... You are now. No, I don't want to be. <laughs> Was I? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no. I don't want to be. <laughs> um... Alright. I am going to... Cast Archer's Mind Whip on the. Did you say Gorgon? Muragon. Muragon. Close enough. On that one. So that is a 16 int. <laughs> yeah, he fails. He fails that. Right. Is he negative int? Or neutral? Yeah, so that is seven psychic damage. I guess you guys will get a good laugh out of this. Uh, he rolled an eight. The minus. Holy crap. Minus seven. Uh, yeah. Okay, and then. Um, so it cannot take a reaction till the end of its next turn. And on its turn, it can either choose to move, have an action, or a bonus action. Can only choose one. All right. Uh, yes. And then I will back up to Livino. Actually, mm, yeah, that yeah, I'll back up to Livino. That guy can fly back if he wants to. All right. And how much damage was that on the whip? I didn't catch that. 
Oh. Uh, seven psychic. Thank you. All right. After Vala is a doggo one o, which was the one that was next to Dio. Hmm. Yep. Hmm. The dog just sits out of confusion. It will begin with a... Hmm. Yeah, it's going to be mad that its prey vanished. So it is going to exhale in a 15-foot cone fire in front of it. <laughs> That's the fair. Hell? Dodge. I will need deck saves from those four people. Stun, Dio, X, and Lavina. Oh. Damn. Pulled Wait. the same roll. So oh, damn, that was so close. All right, where's your 19, Richard? <laughs> Or an 18, I keep things even. Or a 17. That works. Richard, We're doing fine. Uh, We're it's going to be under your top of the bar. It should be like a box in the upper left-hand side that says saving throws. You click on the one that says dexterity with a plus or a minus next to it. It's like below your strength, dex, and constitution scores. Then it's a dex one. Did I press the right thing? No, uh, let me double check. No. You did not. I can get it for you if you'd like. Yeah. <laughs> Confused. Are you using your phone Zero. or like a web browser? 15. A web browser. Oh. 15, so there you go. That's a save. So everyone will take half fire damage. You're all going to take 12 points of fire. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. Except for Dio, his sword's going to absorb the fire and then explode. It does not do that. <laughs> Titus! Yeah, no, I know. It would be funny, though. <laughs> oh, my turn. It is. Does my... that break his concentration on the invisibility spell? Oh, yeah. I need to have him roll on for a con. save? Yeah, con save. Yeah. And... Oh. It's, what, half <laughs> the damage? Or ten, whatever's... Uh... Yeah. Highest... Yep. No! The dog is angered times two now that you just reappeared in front of it. You see it licking its lips. It's hungry! <laughs> but yes, Titus, it'd be your turn. Alright, my majestic horse is going to use hooves again. All right, go for it. On the Miragon or the Doggo? Ah, uh, the dog. Oh. It's a uh, 26, natural 20. All right, roll for nice. the damage. Okay. Just so roll normally, and then I'll take the dice and calculate it. 2d8 plus 4. So... It would be, so it would be 17. Okay. But then it also has 2d6 fire damage. Yeah, oh, yeah. Is I'm just going to heal it. it. It's immune to fire? It is immune to fire, but I, I will so. need the roll for the heal. The heal? Oh. Uh. That's depressing. I see you missed Dio's whole interaction I with feeling like a dog. Wrong thing. 
Oh no, I didn't. <clears throat> uh, um. Oh, I did click the wrong thing. It's supposed to be D6. So it is nine, nine fire damage. All right. So twelve plus nine. One. And then the other one was 2d8, so 16 plus 17. 32, 33. So 33 puts it up to 49. So the physical damage would kill it before the fire. W. There you are. Very good, very good. And you have All right. destroyed Doug Oforo. Now... I am going to swing at the ugly monster. It is an 18. An 18 matches its armor class, so you will hit it. Oh, and he has the thing. He's using the sword of swordness. It'll be 12 damage. Those what was that? Other things? What? Is a fiend. Huh? Pull up your sword and look. It does special damage to fiends um, and shit. I just. It says you gain a plus one bonus to attack and damage rolls. So. Oh, when you hit a fiend with it, you. The giant takes an extra 2d8 oh, I, damage. I, I used the giant slang. I forgot to change it. But it's the fiend. The fiend Ooh. will take two, an extra 2d8. So roll an extra 2d8. I did. So it's 12. Those are Plus another 2d8, you said? Yep, 2d8. 2d6. 12 plus 5. Alright, and that is number This one's kind of nice. And you see, as you strike, a spectral blade follows behind and strikes it again. Oh. I'm in heaven right now with this horse and this sword. <laughs> or should I say I'm in hell? <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Now it is Mur number one, the one that you just struck. He's going to attack your horse with both the Coward. blade and the hilt. He hits with the hilt again. <sighs> 1d8 plus 4. So 5 bludgeoning damage onto the steed. Okay. All right. After that, be Lavina. Lavina. Looking to see that the next doggo to go is this doggo. Who attacked that one? My savior. Why do I roll here? I shouldn't have. But that <coughs> is going to be plus eight. So the second one will hit. One D six. Six damage. Then a bonus action. And that will not be enough. So she tries to beat this thing down and just doesn't make it enough. However, it has now taken some damage. After Lavina is Zen. Hmm. We are in melee range, so I'm going to do it. I'm going to do vampiric touch. I not one. Never mind. I'm not going to. Oh no! <laughs> I need you to roll a d20 for me. <laughs> uh, rough. Acrobatics. I rolled an eight. What's your acrobatics add? Zen. Uh, Plus one. Okay, so that is a nine in total. So you try to reach out for the dog, and the dog takes a couple steps back, which is kind of surprises you for that. And as you do so, you notice that there is a small crack that opens up into the ground. You have fallen prone. <laughs> oh, no. And as you're falling, before you hit the ground, it almost sounds like the ground is laughing at you. <laughs> Guys, the ground's speaking to me. 
Are, are you all right? You, you seem to be going a little mad. We're in hell. We're all going mad. That is a possibility, yes. Having fun. <laughs> all right, Zen, you still have your movement. So I can still stand up? Yes. I'm going to stand up. Okay. I can't disengage because I attack. Yes. <laughs> I am going to... Risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, just chill. Yeah. <laughs> All right. This doggy. Oh, he don't like me. Vala no. and Zen. <laughs> <laughs> Deck save, no. right? Deck save, 12. A nat 20. Alright, Vala, you will take 29 fire damage. Zen, you'll oh. take half. So that'll be 15. W uh -huh. nat 20, though, after failing miserably on my attack roll. <laughs> It's been a lot of nat 20s this game. Jesus. I went from nat 1 to nat 20. <laughs> like, what There's the hell? Three in this one fight. All right, that's that dog's turn. We go to Dio. Hi. It's I, Dio. I'm going to poke it. Just going to heal it again. No, not with that sword. Different. Can I use other swords? Did we, like, ever talk about that? Yes. <laughs> okay. I'm going to poke it. There's nothing in his description that says... I thought you lost that. A 16. 16 will hit. Ah. Didn't your rainbow rapier get eaten? No! That was Which the sword got rapier. eaten? Here. No. Five damage. All right. I remember he let some creature eat the other one. It would have been great if Nero stole his sword. Honestly, that would have been better than the fucking pets. All right, and I'm going to use Second Wind. Boong. Healed for four. Six. It has a plus two. <laughs> and that will be my turn. All right, <clears throat> after Dio is on you. Yeah, that's... Oh, I'm gonna keep hitting it out though, right in front of me. How fun! That's a twenty-two. Twenty-two will hit. <laughs> and a sixteen. Sixteen will hit. Oh yeah, let's go. Uh, eighteen total. That's enough to end this one. <laughs> You just see me beat the crap out of it. Oh god, more liquid. Alright. Oh, why is that five look smaller than the other five? They don't talk don't about that. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> That's like ten feet! Excuse me, I thought that was a five foot radius. Am I really in it? <laughs> Alright, I am going to use my movement and scoot to the other side to the other doggo. Oh no. What you could done? flank this one. Yeah, I would like to flank it because I'm actually going to spend a key point to poppity pop pop. If I'm so allowed. You're going to yes, run at me. Of course you can. All right. Let me find my button. Where my button goes. <clears throat> button. Right there. Uh, advantage. Run me roll. First one's 24. I'll hit. So. Uh. Second one's a 14. I don't think a 14 will hit. A 14 misses. Uh, still seven points of damage. All right. But that's it. It's still alive. It. it is wounded, though. Okay. And kind of looks like it's limping on its back paw now. All right, after Anya is Murigan two.
<laughs> it can only move. The it chose He's the move. In the pool. It can only move because of the thing. All right. But for flavor's sakes, it will strike down, scaring Dio. But a mind spike hit it, and it's like grabbing its head before it was able to make it strike. And it looks at you, Dio, thinking you were the cause of it. You can see <laughs> the beady red eyes behind the mask, anger and rage. Is it in the pudding? It is. Hmm. All right. Hmm. What does the pudding do? It does nothing to it. Damn it. Oh. Good try, though. Stun. He's um gone. Back. Rotate me around the Murrigan. Yeah. Yeah, probably right about there. I take a swing. Schwung. Is it advantage because of uh flanking? Because yes. you are a melee character regardless of your distance. <clears throat> Well, it only works. 17? A 17 is not able to break its plate. Jesus Christ! <laughs> 23. 23 will hit. Using the earlier puncture wound that you were able to make, you were able to jab your glaive straight through. 14 damage. It is a magical? Plus one glaive? Yes. Okay. And as a bonus action, I'm going to second wind. Also a fighter. D10. D10 plus one, so 10 HP back. Wong. Okay. That's it. That's my turn. All right. After stun is X. I decide to walk up to the closest doggo. All right. And I blast him with Eldritch Blast. Uh, I don't think you have. Would that be an additional move? No, 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 no. I don't think you don't so. have battle caster, so doing a ranged attack at melee range would put you at disadvantage. Okay, and I just stick there, and I end my turn. No, you can attack you him. Still attack. You can still attack. You still attack him. I'm just, I'm just saying it would put you at disadvantage, so you'd end up rolling two dice, two d20s, and taking the lesser yes. of the two, so you have less chance to hit. So if you stay where you are and then blast him with the Eldritch Blast, it'll be a flat roll, as you normally do. So instead, I'm going to poison spray the doggo. Okay. That is I... a con 13... He will be able to make it, unfortunately. Oh no. Oh no indeed. Alright. Um I frown and I end my turn. Okay. It is now the crossbow. Alright. No. <laughs> Vala. Still me? Yes. That's going to be on the nine is a plus four. So thirteen. Oh, we we shield in that one. <laughs> we, we shield him. It shoots very wide, doesn't hit you at all and then the second one corrects its aim and fires it starts heading towards you and you block it with your arcane energy 
Stop bullying me. It's going to put its hand up to where you assume its mouth is and shift its shoulders up and down. No sound is audible, though. Vala, it is your turn. Strike back. Mm. Mm. Did it, like, taunt me? It looked like it was laughing, but there was no audible sound. All right. Oh, <laughs> He's asked for it. Um... gonna move I shouldn't do this but I'm gonna suck it I'm gonna move my dis um, if I transform do I get the movement of that thing yes after I move maybe so if you I move think... and then change you're not gonna get that but if you change and then move you would um I can do a bonus action spell and a spell, right? Or no? That's if you're a sorcerer. And you use meta magic. I think I can... Yeah, I think I bonus action and a cantrip. I think that's fine. Um... Motherfucker just challenged me. Alright, that's it. Charge him He's with your daggers it. out. Um, how far away is he? He is currently 60 feet from you. All right. Oh, I can't dash. I wouldn't be able to dash. Uh, uh, you know, I'm gonna do it. I'm going to flap my hands and then uh, I'll turn into a, a giant ape. <laughs> Go back. I want to be monkey. <laughs> and I will run 40 feet towards it. <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> are you running through the pool or are you going to take the opportunity attack? Opportunity? Um, e I'll. Can I jump over the pool? I am strong. You are strong. Do you have it as a special perk? If not, I... I do like an athletics or something? Yeah, that's what I would need. Okay. So, this going to be plus six? I think it's just plus six. Plus six. So, oh, if you have 25. Easy. easy. Light work. So, I move 40 feet towards it. Just gonna rush it with anger in my eyes. Go back. <laughs> uh, and I'm also huge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Big old monk. Stun has a mount now. <laughs> <laughs> now the roles have changed. <laughs> Vala's returning Finally the favor steed. now. <laughs> a steed worthy of stun. All right. Anything else you wish to do, Vala? Oh wait, I oh I no I can't use an attack. No, I can't use an attack. Uh, nope, that'll be it. All right, then we go to Titus. I'm gonna. I'm gonna swing my sword. Uh twenty-four. Twenty-four will hit. So it is nine plus what was it again? Two D six? Two D eight. Or just two D eight D eight. D D D D D D D. So it'll be 19. All right. How do you end this one? Oh, yeah. I'm going to chop its head right off. 
All right, you cleave Ganon. off its head. This one, Don't body full, falls down. Does not disintegrate or anything. In the same retrospect, you are able to notice with your passive perception of an 11 that the mask itself is boiled onto the face. That's fantastic. All right, anything else you wish to do on your turn? Yep, I'm going to run to the other one. And then I'm going to use my second attack. A 22. 22 will hit. A 7 plus... 7, so 14. Alright, very good. And then my horse is going to use hooves. So it is nine. So it is thirteen plus. Did it hit? Oh right, I gotta, I gotta do that <laughs> first. <No. laughs> uh, oh, that's sad. It was a not enough. Nope, not at all. <laughs> that will not hit. <laughs> that's sad. Had a whole game plan and everything. <laughs> All right. Lavina for her three attacks. Cool. Two of those are going to hit. Oh, well, that's enough to end this one. You see that with her radiant blasts against the beast, it does not change into a thing of ichor. We then go to Zen. I, that closest uh, guy, I think I shall. Oh, not my spell page. I'm going to try and use a chromatic orb. 13. 13 does not hit. Yeah. It goes wide. I it sees it not. coming and just kind of steps off to the side a little bit. Anything else you wish to do? I cannot do anything else. All right, very well. Dio! Ha! Ah, it is I, Dio! Me opening things on accident. Here to strike again. Um, does this thing have any declaration that it would live from fire? Can I investigate it? <laughs> Hmm. I want to punk it with my sure. sword. Sure. Give me an investigation, Dio. A Ted. It's a fiend. In metal. Ah, armor. I'm bonking it with the sword. Just kidding. <laughs> mm. It deflects your blow and has it slam into the ground. It kind of does the same motion as it did the other one did Devala. Puts its hand you. over where its mouth is and looks like it's chuckling. You hey, at least they didn't laugh at me. Alright, I'm gonna give Bardic Inspiration to Tim and end my turn. Tim is Bardically inspired. Anya, be your turn. Alright. I'm gonna go help the boys out. Yeah, let me flank that bad boy. That bad boy. It's a vantage, right? That it is. Gonna pop up. Gonna mess him up. First one's 24. That hits. PR. Second one's 24. That hits. <laughs> cool, take it. A six and a nine. All right, so it's me. 
Pop up. <laughs> kind of turns at you. You see its red beaky eyes. I look at him and say, it didn't need to be this way. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let me know harm. Alright, so now it's his turn. No! <laughs> it's going to take two attacks. One at Dio, one at Anya. Oh, God. Dio, what's your AC? 13. All right, that's going to hit you. Because that's going to be a 14. <laughs> Anya, unfortunately, it will completely miss you because he takes what a swing at Dio the and then goes to take the butt of the halberd backwards. But you're too quick for it. And it dodges completely. Yeah, I just tried that. Dio. Hits the Michael Jackson. <laughs> to dodge it. Five damage. Oh, my heart. All right, it's done. Hey, yeah, I'm just gonna swing. I just heard that in stereo. Cool. <laughs> Did you think of Uncle Roger? <laughs> Is it? Am I still technically flanking? Yes. Cool. Because you have someone in melee range on the other side. Twenty-three. Yes. <clears throat> Nine damage. Do it again. He's still standing. Twenty four. Twenty four hits. Five damage. 25. How do you end this one? Just like a quick like spear poke into the back and then a twist and then like quick to the side. Alright. As he dies and falls, he lands into the ichor. It splashes as he falls. <laughs> I need deck saving throws from Anya and Dio. Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, we're good. Dead to 23. Both of you see this incoming, knowing full well that this body is going to collapse in it, and they're able to move a distance away to not get splashed on. All right, X. Just the one I had, left. I head towards the other doggo. There is no more okay. dogs. There is a Murrigan, though. I move closer to the Murrigan, where I'm about 50 feet away. I mean, where you were was 60, so you move 10 and you're close enough. <clears throat> And I cast my Eldritch Blast. Alright, roll the hit. 20 hits, roll for damage. Alright, good hit. What damage did I cause? 5 damage. Yeah. Force, I believe. It is force. You do get a good hit on his stomach, but he is still standing strong. You can use your ability to repel him back. I shall do that. <laughs> you take the you shot for him, him to, to repel back, and he shifts backwards, sliding. Still standing, though. All right, anything else you wish to do? No, that's all. God damn it. All right, it's going to take two shots at the gorilla. <laughs> that's going Tactical to maneuvering. be a uh, 20... Yeah, 20 and I nine. have 12 AC. Oh, okay. So one of them will hit. 
1d10 plus 2 piercing. 6. Monk. All right, Valo. All right. All right, King Kong, you got this. All right, we're good. Uh, I'm just imagining a picture frame. How far away is he? 30 feet from you. Oh, I'm getting on that ass. <laughs> okay. I'll bring it back up. Okay, I'm going to make a multi-attack with my fists. Gorilla. Um, so that's uh plus nine. So twenty-seven. I'll hit. Yeah, we'll roll both. Plus another nine, so twenty-six. I'll hit. Once the rolls disappear, I'll be able to read what I can do. <laughs> okay, they're not going away. I'll do it myself. Uh, oh, I have reach. Nice. Okay, so 3d10. Jesus Christ. So six plus uh, another six, so 12. And then... Then a 15. All right. You're able to notice that with your mundane fists, he's yeah. almost deflected. He's taking half damage from both of those. Yeah, I figure. No, the bunk. All right. After you is Titus. Eight. So, monkey's got a... Uh, yeah, sure. I guess I'll... You know what? No, I'm gonna let the monkey do its thing. I'm gonna go back <laughs> up to where I killed that one guy. And, and I'm gonna take its head with a mask. Because it was it was melted to its face, right? Yes. So you pick up the whole Yeah. Head. Yeah. And then I'm just gonna kinda start like cutting the head off of the mask as much as I can. Caruso. Okay. Uh, you need to either it's gold, give right? me a bronze. It is bronze masks, but I need either a slide <laughs> well, hand or a medicine to be able to Just... carve the mask off without damaging it. Why not strength? Just rip the skin off his face. If he wants to do that too and still have some skin left on the mask, then so be it. Yeah, I'll do that and then I can slowly pick at it. <laughs> Fifteen. Fifteen's enough to rip the mask <laughs> off the face. There's a whole bunch Therefore, of like, ripping glued the face off. on I thought it was skin. Gold. <laughs> glued on skin. On Are you like, ah, oh, man, this isn't gold. And you're just gonna chuck yeah, the mask. Yeah, I'm just gonna drop it after I'm done. <laughs> rips the guy's face off and still doesn't take the mask. Gruesome. <laughs> so gruesome. Brutal. <clears throat> Unnecessarily so. <laughs> All right. Love it! <laughs> Alright, so Zen. How far away is that old uh, that guy? 80 feet. I'm going to walk 20 feet closer. And then Rhea for us. He do it. She's got this. Nope, I missed. Yeah, let the monkey finish. Technically, he's behind partial cover anyway, so... Yeah, it's not high enough to really be considered cover. It's like partial. Eh. Yeah, anyway, Dio. Ha! It is Dio. The and boiling I'm gonna... liquid in front of you beckons. Oh, stop. <laughs> it tells it. you to jump in. No, I want to touch you it. <laughs> you see swirls of black energy. Enticing. I kind of want to touch it. Jesus. 
Oh, I only have 12 hit points. The portal like sitting next to me is not doing anything, is it? No. Okay. Only that one's talking to me! <laughs> I was about hey. to say, I would have gonna... move 15 feet more if it was. No, 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 no. Pull out no, my crossbow. No, no. And, like, all good bards take aim. And now yep. I'm gonna test it. Sounds about right. And it just goes off into the distance. No, <laughs> my crossbow. Excuse me. Just shoots it straight up in the air. And then I shall. God, I'm cooking all of my spell slots. Cast Healy Word. So, do you. myself. Yes. With that last launch. You then peer into your backpack to see that your quiver is now empty. No! <laughs> I set my casting. There we go. Why am I magically running out of bullets? You had to have them all the time, and I've been keeping track of them off your character sheet every time you've <laughs> have launched you one. Really? Yes! <laughs> Yikes. Like you should have been. <laughs> Damn. Oh, I end my turn. Ouch. These things have ammunition, unless you have, you know, a magical crossbow that makes magical bolts, but you don't. He can magically <laughs> make cross. Oh no, wait, I don't, I don't know if he can anymore. He could. He's too dumb now. He could have. <laughs> he used to be able to make arrows. With his creation magic, yeah. But regardless, <laughs> all right. I can make one arrow. No, yeah, okay. If you want to cast your spell and make a arrow and use it, then you can. There's options, but anyway, regardless. <clears throat> anything else you wish to do, Dio? Nope, that's it. It'll be on you now. Yeah. Uh, how far away can we establish? You said it's 80 feet, or give or take. 55 from you. Yeah, damn. All right, I'm going to dash. Yeah, to flank so he can at least have a vintage. And then I. That's it. Because I used my dash. So. Alright, it's done. I think I can actually get close enough to hit him, maybe. I don't know. How big is that rock ruin thing? 20 feet. You can get on top of it, though. Just three feet high. <laughs> Now you have the high ground advantage. Yeah, you have you have enough room. You All right, let me do that. You just see you him have climb over it. I have forty. Yeah. Yeah, you can make it. You need thirty-five. <laughs> can I act if, like based on where I'm standing on this? Am I able to hit him? Yes. Oh, All right, cool. I'm gonna do it. You hey can see above his waist, across the rock. <laughs> Thirty twenty. <laughs> Yeah, that hits. Don't question it. <laughs> Ten. Would it be an advantage yeah. technically to like flank him? No, that is. Or would it not count for him? No. It has to be on directly on the other side of the character. Ah. Uh, there are no I, high ground rules. I guess. Uh, two melee people were in range. He's still standing. Twenty-four. That hits. Five damage. <laughs> oh, okay. X. He still stands, though heavily beaten, battered, wounded. I decide to do the same thing all over again. All right, Eldritch Blast or Poison Spray? Eldritch Blast. All right, go for it. Sixteen. Sixteen is not enough to hit. It hits the rock in front of him. Damn it, Jim. Alright. The Murugan takes its halberd and strikes twice against the mighty beast in front of it. Both of those will hit. So, plus four... And plus four. Seven. Seven and nine. Eleven. Nine. Seven, nine. Sixteen. Okay. 
right. That'll be nah. it. Vala. Okay. Gonna make, I'll make two this fist attacks. I'll make this easy for you. Just roll the hit. Yep, and they're both at advantage. And that they are. There's the he first has, one. Did he survive with like one health? He has two HP. <laughs> no. Oh damn. Wait, wait, no. There's also plus nine, so plus nine to. Yeah. Both sure. your attacks are at advantage because you're flanking right now. Yeah, so plus nine. I'm going to grab it by the neck, slam it on the rocks, and give it two punches to the dome. Take it, monkey rage, punching it into the ground. And then it falls limp. Still. One double fist as well. <laughs> Ooh, fist. Fisting it. Alright. With that, they are all dead. That was uh, my pretty horse. bad luck for us to come across a patrol like that. That wasn't very luck. Bad. That was pretty easy. Dio's carrying a demon beacon. Huh? Yeah. No. <laughs> this thing we got this flame way. horse can, and monkey. He can light the grill with ease. <laughs> we can grill food on the ground here, probably. <laughs> Is there any fire around? There Your isn't, horse is except fire. the horse and Dio's okay. blade. Yo, oh. is that cracked ground still laughing at me over there? As a matter of fact, Dio, touch no, the puddle. it isn't. I if you do it, I'll anyone do it. Anyone with a passive perception of 13 or higher is able to see a bit of a glitter out of the pile of bones near. Gonna go loot it. Do you just I'm dash for it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Rummaging through it. All right. Inside, I'm you gonna see imitate it. A... <laughs> you see a canvas that is quite odd. It is locked with a gold binding. Gold. Oh. Said there were skulls. Yes. I'll pick one up and start sniffing it. <laughs> Give it a little lick. Yep. You said it's a canvas? I'm going to go over and see what Vala is, is doing. It is canvas paper. It's a rather large piece of paper. From It's all rolled up and bound, and it's about 14, 15 inches or so long. Okay. I can, can see it how up, far I can throw a skull. Yeah, you're able to take it out with ease. Uh, okay. I'm going to stare at it, and then I'm going to walk it back to the group. You're going to see how far I can throw a skull. <clears throat> All right. Roll uh, athletics. Uh, plus six. Ooh. <laughs> I'm going to walk over and see how far I can throw a skull. Oh, my Jesus. You're going to throw forever than the monkey. We'll, we'll go for back every ten. point as five. Oh, plus nine. So plus nine, actually, to my roll. You, oh, you just barely lost. I almost threw a skull as far as a giant monkey. I feel proud. It slipped out uh, of my hands, okay? Fine, I'll throw another one. <laughs> oh, if you're throwing another, another one, I'm gonna throw another one. Oh my, okay. Um, 22. Yours is way higher than mine that time. I accept <laughs> defeat. Let me just... I'm just gonna say point to... proven and walk away. I'm gonna go over to Dio. <laughs> I'm gonna tell him to touch the puddle, and then I'll touch it. Mm. If you touch it, I'll touch it. I can't. I w I'll die. If I touch it, will you touch it? I'll touch it first. Depending on the consequences, maybe. Okay, I'm gonna touch it. You're gonna touch the black acre. With one finger. <laughs> Still the same. I need a one D one hundred, good sir. Oh my god. Okay. Forty nine. 
you scream in agony and pain. <laughs> the fiendish ichor has rotated your arms and legs. You can only move by crawling now. I'm not touching the puddle. I was gonna. If it was gonna, gonna damage, I was gonna just not say anything and just let him touch it after. That's sad. Just gonna walk toward it, intrigued. I see his, I'm gonna walk over and see if I can even heal him because his saying, like shit don't, just broke. Don't touch the liquid. Uh, I'm gonna do a cure wounds as a ritual and see if that. Or, well, I guess that's not even a ritual. It's just once per long rest. Does this fix his broken body? <laughs> it does not, no. But he does get healed. How do I... For how right. much? Well, you get eight healing. I can't fix your broken legs. Enjoy. How do I, how do I fix this? You know what? Wait, they're broken and twisted backwards, right? They're replaced. Your arms are where your legs are, and your legs are where your arms are. They've swapped places. That's kind of... Wait, so am I walking... Like, my head is upside... I'm upside down. Your arms are your legs now. Oh, God. Not That's... if I walk upside down. <laughs> I'm gonna cast well, your cure head wounds your on head myself. Your head would be down below, level. and you'd be looking at the world upside down. I I'll get used to it. <laughs> 17 healing to myself from a second level cure wounds? What the fuck? <laughs> fix me! I can't fix you. <laughs> I'm gonna climb myself. up on my horsey. Can you even do that? You have yeah. I was like, like, do you, you have, have feet for hands now? I'm standing on my feet. I'm upside down. I have my hands. I'm like a monkey now. I'm gonna use my feet to climb up with my hands. I'm going to need an acrobatics from you just to be able to hang on to your horse. <clears throat> Fourteen. How would you even sit on it? How would you even fix this, it bro? It is very difficult for you to hang on to it, but I mean, I'm you, just you're laying there. on it like you're, sideways. You're there. Yeah, you're there. You're on I'm it, just... but it'll be very hard yeah. for you to control it now. Well, I talk to it. We can talk to each other. <laughs> That's if it will listen. Telepathic horse. Will you listen to me? <laughs> <laughs> I really need you right now. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> if I can the use Alter Self on you, I can agreement. fix you for an hour. The giant monkey is slowly moving his finger back and forth toward the puddle. Question, Touch it, DM. Touch it monkey. <laughs> Alter Self I'm gonna look is at you like an not hour shape-changing. So, is this like one of those ones... Would I be able to tell if it's like one of those changes where it's like time based or is he just stuck like that forever? Give me a high enough medicine or history. 12 medicine. Well, you can, I need you. You can tell that this is considered a curse. Oh, yeah, you're you're cursed, bud. Uh, Do I have to break the curse? I don't know how curses work. If you have a I have a fire a horse. Curse. How do I... I have a fire horse. <laughs> I don't know how to break a curse. Pray to your stupid. god. I'm too stupid. <laughs> Pray. <laughs> Do a little praying, brother, and maybe you're god. Alright, I guess you. I'll pray to my god, my deity. I hope he laughs in your face, too. I just say it under my voice. Due to the way that you have been warped, I will let anyone know that technically lesser restoration could work if you were to chop off all of his limbs and grow <laughs> new ones. You know what? We can regrow <laughs> limbs with lesser healing. Or you should have just let us struggle through this. It would have been funnier. Chop, chop them off. If someone has it, please. Pray first. Hold on. I'm wasting a spell slot on you. D yeah, hold lesser on. Does anybody actually disease. have lesser restoration? Lesser restoration is disease. I might have something. I only have cure wounds, bro, so. 
Wait, right so now, now I have it? Yeah, you need right now I restoration monkey. to do it. My bad. I have I'm monkey greater right now. healing word. Wait, so I need greater? You need greater restoration. Lesser only Pray does to your one God. disease. And we don't... We don't have that. Nope. Nobody has that. Nope. nope. Pray to your God. That's All your right. only option. Alright, I'm gonna pray to my deity. I have no power, is all he says. <laughs> You're in Try hell, I can't do anything. G g give me a... What, what do you say? What do you go? I... I'm gonna... Uh, my deity's... I don't know how to pronounce it. it it's just horror, right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Horror, I have made mistakes. <laughs> and I could really <laughs> use your help for the love of... Horror, please. Help me. <laughs> you reach out, but the realms seem foot. to prevent you from reaching Celestia in any way. You're fucking useless. You hear oh. infernal whispers back and forth as you pray in your head. Back and forth. Well, A sigil of fire that. in front of you starts <clears> to <throat> form. And you see a pentagram appear, and you start to see oh, devil God. horns, red skin, leathery wings. I'm going to run away. In a very decently dressed. I'm running away. I'm getting behind stun. You bastard. You did this to me. You did this to yourself. He's like pointing at I mean you were taunting Dio so he deserves it though I, I'm not saying he doesn't but you're right, I'll, I'll drop concentration that'll be me oh you guys see this devil in front of you and you have a little bit of charm but also fear you know this being in front of you is very powerful. What I know who he He looks at Titus and goes, Oh, you've gotten yourself into quite a predicament, haven't you? Well, what I can you? tell you with here, I heard your prayers. Though Celestia doesn't have much rain over here, I have plenty. I'm about to make a deal with the devil. <laughs> I might be able to fix this. Don't make any deals. Oh, really? Yes. Do you, can you have heal my soul? Restoration? No. I can you heal don't. anything that you desire. Oh. You just need to make sure you have a equal price paid. As it is, a devil you know will always honor his contract. Give me I like five minutes to think about this. I, I might be able check. to fix it. You should just wait a day. A day? You have? Yep. How are you gonna fix it? I can remove curses. Because oh. <laughs> I knew you fools would do something. All right, come back in a day, devil, and you might have a deal. Can no, I'm not done with you, devil. Check. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> See who he is. How much soul sure, could you heal? You can give me a history. You would oh, history. You would not recognize him from a religion in any way, shape, or form. Oh, yeah, can I do that as well? What does a nat 20 tell me? <clears throat> I'll do it too, since I read a book. Yeah. Yeah. A nat 20 will tell you that he is an arch devil named Zai who works as a lieutenant under Zariel. I just relay this to stun and then I cower more. I do not relate that to the rest of the party because I am terrified. Give me a day and come back. Well, just understand that when all hope is broken and lost and I am your last option, I will be the there for you. The price increase. I've lost hope and options. <laughs> yes, and you may speak, lost one. Ah. Uh. So you're hey. a bartering kind of man. Fuck you, Dio. 
You did this. I did oh, you this. did it. <laughs> he did it. What would... First, you said you can heal the soul, correct? I can. Hmm. Uh, what do you like material-wise? The sword! Well, no, <laughs> tell me this. <laughs> well, tell me this. What do you think is the cost of a soul? Uh, the, the, the whole soul? Listen, we're trying to heal the soul, not replace the soul. I'm still soulful. Though I do see yours has been mighty twisted and mangled. Won't be long until someone less generous and kind as myself comes along and decides to just complete that rotation. Now listen, listen. What would one helmet of lucky... Should I roll a persuasion here? <laughs> That's if he can be persuaded with what you're offering. This is true. <clears throat> what would one helmet of the lucky and one mystical potion of vitality restore? Uh, those are just simple items. I could just have my simple? three artificer slaves back home take care of it for me it's very rare question dm Vala would also know who that uh devil is right because he rolled a 19 yeah he would be able to identify so he could uh try and tell dio that nothing he does is really gonna help other than giving him something i've crack. already told titus not to make a deal so he yeah, knows but, not to but, make a deal well i guess anything you tell dio isn't gonna help out anyways true you offer him the sword. No. Yeah, but he's trying to use the sword. <laughs> he's I not gonna do sword. that. Yeah, well, sometimes you gotta make trades, man. <laughs> no, <laughs> I spent too much for the sword, damn it. What does the sword do for you? Well, so far, nothing. It's cool. I saw that its fire seemed to help the beast you hit it with. Listen, Samantha. Where do you think we are? We're not in Iceland or Green, green, green no Place. Quite there nice you. this time of year. <clears throat> hmm. We're in hell. I think everything likes fire. Yes. Let's do this. How about nice you... this time of year? I want to hear your side. What do you want? There has to be something a devil of your caliber might want. I'm going to move to everyone else. I don't want to be standing next. Right next yeah, to Yeah, I'm moving over. I'm going to fuck it. He looks at yeah, you that's and why goes, mine's done. it's simple. I'm honest with the rule of an eye for an eye. A soul mm. for a soul. Mm. I will well, repair your soul, but I will take a soul in return. Take the horse! <laughs> that Excuse horse me? does not have a mortal soul. It is nothing Did more you? than a beast of the hells. Doesn't someone have a soul coin on them, or do we already use that? No, oh, I we gave it to the fairy man. Robbed. No, yeah, you fucking robbed me. You fucking robbed yourself. Fuck you guys, you guys made me give it to him. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? So we, you weren't there. We had to cross the river. It was, yeah, it was a thing. Maybe it I got a fancy coin. ticket due to my payment. <laughs> I unfortunately have no souls to offer you. Oh, no, I just need you to just sign this contract here. What's the fine print say? Fine oh print God. says a soul for a soul. If you give me a high I enough have... investigation or arcana. Mm. Where's investigation? All right, both are plus zero. Let's go. Mm. It says exactly <laughs> as he says. I'll read it for you. <laughs> Who has a good investigation here? I'll read it for you. You're mangled. I'm yeah, my, my eyes are fine. Mm -hmm. Everyone else closes go near it. up and says, "Contract is only for the contractee and myself. Uh -huh. Eyes only." Uh -huh. He's like Dude, a lawyer. Do I'm it. just telling you this Chat. is a bad idea. Do it. Just give him the sword and be repaired. You don't need the sword. He doesn't want the sword. You give haven't offered it. You do didn't it. ask him. I'm signing the paper. Do it. Oh my god. Do I do, I, do, I do it? Blood? Is this a blood thing? 
He hands you a needle. Oh, let's go. I'm gonna whisper to everyone around us. Why do we have this guy with us? Poke. I don't know. He's gonna I'm get cheering you on. I'm gonna big old fat swirl with the D, then the I, and then the O <laughs> with an extra swirl. And then say the pact has been forged. Now he'll be You see that the contract lights a blaze and vanishes. Above you you see a fiery ring forms slightly like a halo, but doesn't fully mm. complete. It Blue. crawls downward oh. all the way down your body. Oh and attaches to your left arm and burns into your skin. <laughs> you now have a semicircle of infernal writing attached to your arm. Oh, that's say? hot. Like I can't a, read infernal. Like a tattoo, except can. a scar of burning. I, I can read infernal. Bit. What does it say? Well, I guess I'm terrified right now. What my horsey I ain't doing shit. <laughs> Let your horse see it. I can. My horse can tell me. <laughs> your horse Thank can't you, speak. Dio. Yeah, this telepathically deal has with me. Been most Thank you very much. Profitable. Woo so, as per promise of contract, as I play by the rules, your soul will be restored. And he hands Let's you go. a potion. A greenish liquid glows slightly in this vial of black wings I have black wings too it has black tendrils encasing around the glass the cork itself this. is like a charred wood charcoal and he hands it to you I'm drinking it feeling he's going to eat your soul at some point <sighs> I just have a feeling he's going to die right now you drink the potion, body. and as promised per contract, you regain your levels. Ha ha! I have done my side of the contract, and I'll be back to collect yours. You're a great bad. <laughs> I prefer the devil you know. Ta-ta. <laughs> See you later. I'm going to ask my horse what the symbol meant, Red. <clears throat> Your horse can't speak. I can speak to it telepathically. <laughs> okay. It says you bound fuckers. by contract. Uh oh, that's it. So I'm pretty sure when you die, you're gonna like serve that guy for all of eternity. Oh well, you know that I just won't die. Great plan. Well, the way you act, I think you will. Alright, so how are you healing me? I, I have to wait a day for this to happen? Yeah. Okay. Alright. So you well, we got to about a look. day of travel, right? You got a day of travels today, yep. You can look well, and you can see that the distance that it is is closer, but not as much as you thought it would be. As if hell is playing a trick on your distance. Can I do a check on this to see what kind of effect is going on here? You can. But also, Anya had a wonderful item. I did, and you all just, like, segued to this awful well, situation. <laughs> oh, you I did something. I did see the scroll you brought back, but then that devil popped up, so I'm going to go ask you, what is this scroll you have that is locked? I don't know. I was bringing it to you all. To, uh... Does anyone have a key, maybe? There is no can key. Stun, can Stun pick up like a hobby of like whittling or something? So when all this stuff just goes on, Stun just ignores everything that's happening and just whittles away. We can we can pick up a uh, different hobby, maybe something that generates a little gold, like wood carving, if you want. Yeah. You just have some wood and you just carving while you're waiting. All right, cool. There are trees here? No. No, so stun just what say about the rock? <laughs> He's doing it at a bone right now. It's fine. Ah, oh, yes, yeah, so I was too preoccupied with the skulls. I feel that was let, weird. Let Levina um, check identify out the scroll it. and see if she I was recognizes gonna, yeah. it. 
I was going to hand it to the key and see if she knew anything of it. And she kind of looks at you, nods, and tries to reach for it. But as she does, you see that there is a light that prevents her from touching it. A light? From her is hand this thing going... bound to me now? She goes, that's odd. I, I can't touch that. All right, I'll start identifying it. Just hold it there. No, 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 no. Can you touch it? Let you me. I'm not gonna. T- I'm not gonna touch it. I'll try to touch <laughs> Somebody it. Somebody else try to touch it. Nope. I'll. Well, why don't you let it set it down? Can you set it down? No, no. Let me try and grab try the scroll. It. Aren't you touching it right now? Yes, do I'm you, touching it. Do you pass it off to someone? Do you drop it? No. I no, try to I grab it if you let it. me. I will hold it out and keep holding it. I want to see if you can. All right. Hold it. Well, Let me see I'm if not, I can grab I'll it. just identify it. I'm not going to touch it. You have to touch it. To Zen is it, able to you? touch it. Hmm. Yeah, you have to touch to identify. Yeah, don't you have that prepared? I do. It'd just take 11 minutes if you want me to sit here and hold on to it to identify well, it. If you have it prepared, it's. You can just cast it using instant. a spell. Slot. Well, fine. Instant identify. Right. Tell me the details. Uh, my body hurts. <laughs> I don't care about your body. Let me the see the map... scroll. It says map of Avernus. Oh. It's the Ooh. map. That is quite How do we handy. Open, it? Do you break open the sesame map. Seal? Did the identify say anything else of the map? Is it just a seal? I thought you said it was log. Like it was. I open it. It is a golden band that wraps around, and it's very easy to just put a little pressure on the middle of the seal to just break it open. Oh my god. (laughs) Alright, you you watch me to open it with my mage hand? You want to set it down? Can you set it down? Nah, I'm opening it. It's already in my hands. So you break the seal. It wasn't actually in your hands. Who's who's opening it? Who's opening it? (laughs) Is anyone opening you it? You can open it. I was just clarifying that I never let it go. I okay. still had it. Oh, well, so do you just... let me open it then? Yeah. Okay. I open it. So then you press two fingers on the seal, and it snaps open, and you see a little bit of reddish energy start to emanate from oh, no. the canvas. It's not harmful, but it does feel a little warm to the touch, as if like the hot air that you get from the bottom of your refrigerator kind of blowing out. Yo, this mm. thing's a self-making heat device. I think I'll keep this. I think there's plenty of heat around here. I start the map, and then I stare back at the key, and I'm like, why can't she Do you she open it? it? Like, do you unravel it? Yes. That's that's what I was saying I was going to do. I was going to fully open it. I need you guys to, whoever's looking at the map, to give me a wisdom save. All okay. right. I have to go pee. Fair be. 17. I don't know All if right. both of us would because we were kind of doing it. You feel a time. striking pain into your heads as you look at the map for the first time. It moves, makes you feel nauseous as you're looking at it because the map itself is living. You see positions of different icons moving around as it's readjusting. Avernus does not stay still. Where something okay, may be for one second now. moves somewhere else in the next. So essentially, the entire landscape is changing, and yeah, that's basically it. And you were able to identify the area of where Fort Knuckle Bone is, and you can see that it is in the distance of where you're going, but it seems to be shifting away from you. Do we see a way where we could potentially go around an area of like weird territory to make us loop around in front of it? That would lengthen your time, but I will need an investigation from you. Either that or survival. Either or. Okay. Investigation. Tim, do you see what I see? 14. You're able to identify that there is a pathway no. that you can make. It would add an extra day to travel, but you would be able to cut off its 
moving. Hey guys, I found a path. It would take an extra day, but it'll stop the uh, the fort from going further away from us. And I don't know if it's going to continue to infinitely stretch away from us as we're trying to go to it. So, all right. I think that's probably at least we have a heading and a direction. And this this map seems to be a blessing, but I still don't know who would have left it in a skull pile. Someone who wanted us to find it clearly. Or uh, someone to find it. I still want to know why the key... <laughs> Can Lavina touch it now that I broke the seal? Every time she tries to reach for it, there's a golden still can. light energy coming from her hands that prevents her from getting closer. And definitely it's holy cold. nature has gold light, but is there like any sigils or anything, or is it just a light? Just a light. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Almost well, making an arcane shield. Since we know where we're going, I'm going to put the, the map in my pocket if I'm allowed to. I think he's Because I was not the one that found it. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Warmth creating map. It's hot already. What do you mean, warmth creating map? I am technically a lizard. I am cold blooded, so you know, a warmth making device could be useful in the future. All right. With that, we can make a, another day of travel. This is where we'll be kind of ending session because it is nine thirty, and everyone likes to get off at like nine. So I will get things prepared for the next session. I need a couple of things from everybody. First and foremost, okay. someone who has not rolled today for the navigation. Give me a d20 for your second day of travel. Oh, boy. I think my oh, investigation no. technically counted as my travel, didn't it? <laughs> I will need dance. someone to give me a 1d6. <laughs> I can do it. Uh -huh. I already rolled clean. No, I haven't Five. rolled anything like this. All right. <clears throat> So you will have a clear day of travel. However, because it is your second day of travel, you guys do get a, I assume you do rest for a long rest when you assume yeah. night time yeah. comes around. There is no day or night cycle here, so it's hard to tell, hard to gauge. Just whenever you get tired. I'm on I my need horse. every single person who is traveling Avernus on foot to give me uh, a wisdom saving throw. I Am I still on the broom? Oh, no. I I'm, on the one. <laughs> I'm, I'm on the broom. Dude, dude. I think Dio's gonna get lost. He wasn't already? I mean, he lost his mind. Rolled Dude, a 21, that's... solid. Well, the 21, uh, 8, and 2. I need Titus. I'm not on foot. Um, horse. You're going to be traveling on f horse. As long as that thing lasts. Then I'm missing I, Anya. Oh, I dropped concentration. I'm on the broom. Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm holding. No, you're fine. You roll. I roll? Yo, wait, you're on broom. Broom, broom. Yeah. X, that's who I'm missing. Holy shit. Why'd that get so strong? Can What's you that feel like? I need a wisdom, wisdom saving save. throw from you. Oh. Yeah, it stays it until I Yeah, it doesn't say, say it ends. Can, yeah. Until I say that it can go. Oh, that's very good. I gotcha. Seven. All right. With that, stun. Dio. Yo. X. Yep. You are all lawful evil now. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my that's not saintly. Too much where I was. <laughs> my saintly nature and my wisdoms prevailed. Okay. Wait. So X got better than he was. He's not as evil now. No, X is still evil. Not as evil. I thought he was chaotic evil, though. Now he's lawful he evil. He was, yeah. Lawful evil is, like, the worst. I thought chaotic evil was. 
Um, Chaotic evil you could kind of deal with because that's just demon lord stuff. Oh, I'm just going to kill this. I'm just going to do that. Lawful evil is evil, but with your own rules. So for oh, stuns, great. at least, I'm going to have try and have stun re-roll that with an alternate reality, but I've only got one. <laughs> oh, you want me to... Yeah, re-roll so your wisdom save. Alternate reality? But is that like something you can feel happening? That's Oh, yeah. No, actually, actually, I don't know. Uh, that's kind of weird. How would I um... even know if that even happened? Yeah, that's, that's kinda... not like an event that happened. I think that was just like hell changing little... us as we're traveling. Yeah, yeah. it's kind of a little meta gamey. And he used a uh, bardic inspiration that Dio gave him earlier. That only lasts a minute. I I yeah, so no, I can't even re-roll for you guys. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that kind of feels a little metagamey, maybe. I don't oh, know. Oh, well, for 10 yeah. minutes, I guess. Yeah, yeah, no, I don't think I could. Yeah, However, like... if they do an act that you would assume as such, you can try to investigate such a thing. Well, we're just well, walking and not really a lot's happening, so I don't think there would be a lot for me to notice happening as we're just kind of like just marching. Are we along. like in a marching formation? Stun can use his bardic inspiration for the last 10 minutes. We were this was over the course of a day travel. This was over oh, wait, so did I get fixed day. or not? No, because we have to actually have the long rest. And... Well, that's what I'm saying. You guys got your long rest, and this is the second day of travel. This is after this long rest. Oh, are we Are we continuing? I thought we were ending. No, we're ending we're session. Ending. It's just the second day has finished, so I'm just figuring out if there's any other events. So it's going to be you you know, five more minutes. He's getting fixed. Well, I can try to cast uh, I curse. I think spell. we would notice that, yeah. though. Like, well, let me you could do it on Dio, but, or not Dio, you could do it on Cole, but we wouldn't, uh, I don't think there's anything for stun Dio or X for us to do. I'm broken. I'm not evil yet. Yeah, I know. He's oh. going to use your curse thing on you, but that so we wouldn't know it. about stun Dio or X. No. Okay. All right, I have remove curse. I hope this works. I don't want to have to make a deal with the devil. Okay. <laughs> I can cast Remove Curse at your touch. All curses affecting one creature or object end. If the object is a cursed item, that doesn't... Its curse remains, but the spells breaks over the owner's attunement so they can remove it. So if he's cursed, uh, this can remove it. So I'm fixed? I don't know. Is he? I know cast it. I'm reading the fine print. Give me a second. No, not the fine yeah. print. Imagine it cures like the curse, but his legs and hands are still swapped. <laughs> but the curse was to move them. Yeah, that is the curse. Move, so. the, what if the curse was only to initially move them? That's not a curse, then. But yeah, no, I, I it definitely probably would, like. I want to know what a hundred would have done to cured. you. <laughs> Woo! I'm a normal boy now. I knew you fools would do something. That's why I, I got never this. Never touching strange liquid again. <laughs> what would a hundred have done? <laughs> so there is a couple different pools of that black ichor if you want to take your gamble. That nope. is just one I... of the fourteen good. different things that can happen to you. <laughs> there has Question to be one good thing. DMs. There is actually five good things in there. And I got the oh. bad thing. I'm gonna touch it. I'm just kidding. We're we're long past the pools though, so you would have to no, go back. There, yeah, there's pools everywhere. Any place that oh. a oh. demon or devil dies, their blood stays, forming pools, lakes. Yeah, well, Dio has already decreed he's New never roll. touching that puddle. <laughs> I'm not touching if anyone either, willingly does it, I won't help you. <laughs> Question, DM. For Stun, Dio, and X's uh, nature change, is that like the curse that happened when I got eaten by insects? When did that happen? <laughs> yeah, I, I slept in a coffin. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's about the same. Yeah. Yeah, except for it was an overtime thing and not a, like a bug attack, so exactly. there was no event for me to notice to do exactly. alternate reality. Yep, so we're just yep. going to have to wait until... Uh, they do some funky shit, and then Vala's gonna have to be like, yo, yo, stop that. All right, so, well, to put things in simple perspective for you guys, a lawful evil character sees a well-ordered system as being necessary to fulfill their own personal wants and needs. Yeah. 
Have a good night, everyone. Wait, hold on. We took a long rest, right? Yes. Yes. Who is closest to me in the long rest? Who would just... be the closest to you in a long rest? I was going to say, just, 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 roll, just roll a... Uh, just make it random. Right. Well, I slept on my horse. Make it Dio. It is Dio. Yes. <laughs> Can Fantastic. I uh, pickpocket? Right. <laughs> Give us a sleight of hand. It'll be That's not passive. lawful at all! <clears throat> it's lawful evil, Clayton. Not lawful good. Yeah, I failed. I just tickle him. <laughs> <laughs> Your hand reaches inside his pouch, and you kind of oh. just look at him, and just <laughs> you're just like, "Hey, yeah, don't worry about it." <laughs> Do you try to intimidate him to not look? I was gonna say, if he questions me, I'm just gonna intimidate him <laughs> or deceive him. Oh yeah, I have a test me on deception rolls. Let's go. All right. Uh, Tim, deception. Dio, insight. I thought he said intimidate. Yeah, you wanted to intimidate if he No, I'm just going to deceive him. Well, now I got to stay. I'm curious. 20. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell could have died? <laughs> Tim, what's your lie? I just need some things out of your pocket. <laughs> Get out of my pocket! <laughs> I left some gold in your pouch. <laughs> yeah, oh, okay, my bad. Here you go. Literally nothing in there, unless he wants a dagger. <laughs> or some fake gold coins. <laughs> Is this, like, during the night, or, like... Yeah, during the long rest. <gasps> oh, oh, he can have the family five. photo. <laughs> I have the family photo of the bandit. I don't know what I would have said in that situation of being caught, to be honest. <laughs> I'm be like, to think of something. nothing's happening. Yeah. Shh. Go back to bed. You're <laughs> dreaming this. Dio, you believe it's all a dream. Oh, okay. Okay. All right. Does someone want to roll a d20 for me for third day of travel? I will. Wait, has everybody else rolled already? I yeah. rolled. Yeah, more well, is it, Are we doing it one per day or something? Let's... Yep. I thought we were ending. We are. Yeah, I thought we were I'm anything. just getting to see if you guys make it to Fort Knucklebone or if you have an encounter that I have to prepare for. Oh, 16. Uh, fair enough. All right. Uh, 1d6. I can do that one this time. Six. Two. All right. Uh, above a 15 and a two. All right. Very well. So we are going to pick up with you guys meeting a merchant. Hopefully it's not like Sold the else. family photo. Oh wait, is just one singular merchant? Just one. Okay. So now oh, I can hire yeah, this me. map, this encounter, all that fun stuff, and then we get the next two or three days worth of travel, depending on things go. And then you guys get to get to the next area. Yeah, at least they're avoiding the infinitely stretching castle in the distance. Or, uh, fortress. 